your mic should be good now. It's working, right? Wait, uh, are you muted by the silver stick by your hand? No? I was. You were. Now we're good. Hi, friend. Hi there. All right. I was talking that whole time. Hopping in here, Meat Gunner and Mewtwo. Mewtwo's good. I love Mewtwo. I mean, I, I honestly thought Mewtwo was decent, like, already, before the patch, honestly, but now Mewtwo's scary. Like, character was already decent, now he's just real scary. Spooky character. Forward air there, and right now we see right out the gate, unknown gonna be putting a huge percent lead going all the way out there, catching him with that forward air. And just like that, Eureka is down a stock and a 41% only on two unknown right now. Very, very convincing start here for him. Gonna see how he ends up doing here moving forward into the rest of the match. If he can keep this momentum going, and we're seeing right now already a huge lead in this next stock, already lapping his opponent right now. Yuchi putting in a lot of work right now for him. There is the Nair into the forward air there. Could be trying to turn himself around, gets the back air, and putting him back off stage again. Will he be able to find the lag? He will. And just like that, up two stocks already within the first minute and a half of the game. Unknown showing a really, really strong start to this set. Goes for the Shadow Ball, we will catch his landing there with the uh, forward air. Not quite able to find that though. Goes over the up smash into the double forward air there. Gonna try to get an advantage in this situation. There's the down air, won't be able to find the spike, but we'll find some difference. Jumping off of the wall with the forward air. Very, very well played and really, really convincing start there for Unknown. Free stock within two minutes. It's gonna absolutely take some adjustment here from Eureka to have any chance of coming back into this, but I definitely think it's possible all the players here of a pretty high caliber, honestly. So we can definitely see the adjustments happen, but they are definitely going to have to happen to come back from that, and that will take a good bit of mental fortitude. Going down that hard in game one is definitely something that is hard to come back from mentally. Hmm. Looks like we're gonna be going to a battlefield, custom battlefield it looks like of choice. Moray Towers. I haven't seen this uh, battlefield in a long time actually. Hopping in here. Looks like we're gonna hop into game two in just a minute. I'm wondering if we're gonna see anything different here. Looks like back to the Me Gunner Mewtwo. And we'll see if game two can be any different here for Eureka. Going into Battlefield here, see if that stage pick for him has any sort of an impact on the game. Because Unknown definitely showed a strong, strong start there. Be dash stacking the bomb. I love that, by the way. Dash stacking the bomb into the, into uh, his opponent there. there. And right now, we're seeing a strong start right now. 80% already on the board. Maybe he just needed to get himself going here. Already finding a significant lead. Hasn't been touched yet. There's the forward smash. Will not find the connect, though. But there's the back air. Not closing out the stock just yet, but unknown down to 105. We're seeing a complete opposite to what the last game started off like. Very interesting. I'm wondering just how the adaptation has helped here. There is the uh, Shadow Ball, though, following up with the dash attack and putting 52. There's 68% on the board. Really going to need to try and find his way back to stage. Unknown taking this first stock would be really devastating after all of that good work that happened at the beginning there for Eureka. There is the uh, side B coming out. He'll get hit by the tail there, though. That down tilt, very, very good at stuffing things up. But the dash attack will be finding the stock there for Eureka, and just like that, he's already got 15% of extra credit on the board right now. And just like this, we're seeing Unknown is now in the position that Eureka was in last game, where we just saw a hugely convincing game come out. And I mean, as I was saying in between games there, like we just needed to see some adaptation come out for him to be able to come back into this, and we're seeing it already start to come out here. Very, very good adaptation already from Eureka, we can tell, but there's the forward smash closing out the second stock already right now and just like that unknown has a very large hill to climb to come back into this match eureka doing a great job of gaining the advantage here 41 percent on the third stock already and yet eureka still has not lost his first unknown really gonna need to find a way to close the stock out forward air not gonna be connecting just barely but the back there will close the stock out 
and the gap begins to close, but it's still a really, really tall hill to climb, especially with a character like Me Too, where fewer mistakes can be made due to simply that weight and that size of the character. It can be really, really easy to get into trouble and lose track of it very quickly. An unknown, very high caliber Mewtwo 2 player has played the character for a long time, so I have no doubt that it is possible for him to make this run back, but at the same time, Eureka playing out of his mind after that first game. Honestly, that first game looked like it was going to be a clean blowout, but there it is, closing out the second game in a reverse of the first almost entirely. Says, all right, I see you out here. He's going to fire right back with a similar game. Going into game three here. I just hit my mic like an idiot. Don't worry about it. Wow, honestly, incredible change of play there. Worked out really, really well for him. And I'm wondering if we're gonna see anything change here. I don't think we will, but he might. Oh, nope, we're gonna be sticking with the Mii Gunner Mewtwo. All right. I'm a little bit of an Icy's fanboy, so I was hoping to see it, but I won't complain. I love Mewtwo too, and I love Mii Gunner. All righty. You're getting really smart with these bombs, I've noticed. Those bombs are really strong, honestly. Like, people sleep on how strong Mii Gunner actually is in this game. Those bombs, really frustrating sometimes to deal with. Get up right here. And right now, we're seeing game three already off to a much closer start than either of the first two games were. Both players not over 100% before touching the other, other this time. So we're actually seeing kind of a game get started here. Unknown will be taking the lead, but it's definitely not nearly as significant as game one was. Oh, there's the forward air, though. As I say that, we'll be able to try and recover high. Gets thrown right back off, though. Unknown is trying to close this stock out right out the gate. Going high once again. Thrown back off the level with the forward throw right there. And right now, we're seeing him. He's just really trying to keep him stuck over here, but he will be able to find his way back to a neutral position. It looks like there's the forward air once again, putting him right back into disadvantage. Unknown doing a great job right now of keeping Eureka in disadvantage and just not letting him breathe. Even when it feels like he might get a chance, he just comes right in and stuffs him out again. And now actually finally finding his way back to a neutral position, but at what cost of 130%? It's going to take a good bit of play here. But then again, we did see uh, Eureka close out of stock really early in that last game. There it is! Oh my goodness, the side B into the, into the charge shot there. Going to be closing out the stock. Complete reversal of all that momentum. And now Eureka can just run away with that momentum for as long as humanly possible. 35% already coming out in 52. Charge shot! Closing out the second stock! And just like that, Eureka t just starts running away with the game. He's already up an entire stock now he, when it looked like he was going to be down. Absolutely incredible. Closing out that stock in moments. Just closing out two stocks in the span of about 30 seconds there. Really, really hard to come back from that mentally, especially when you're it's a game three situation. And especially when game one was so clean and game two is just, and like afterwards was just so much more difficult for you to actually get a foothold in. It can definitely be a bit difficult, but unknown once again, high caliber player, so I can definitely see him coming back into this position. Not to say Eureka isn't, both of these players playing absolutely insanely right now. Will we see that? Goes for the down tilt, won't be able to find the forwarder though, puts him right back off stage. We'll find the spike though, closing that stock down, and just like that, only 38% separating these two players right now in this third game. 22, barely a separation at all, things are even now. This game has been so back and forth and so insane. And right now we see Unknown putting him back off stage. And this is not a place you want to be against Unknown. Really, really good at keeping people in disadvantage for long periods of time. Let's find them there, but won't be able to connect it just yet. Although, Roro finding a percent lead here. Goes for the side B there. Going to be trying to catch him. Doesn't catch the second one, though, but we'll be able to get out of that forward air with the P reverse. There's the forward smash. Going to be catching the spot dodge. Will be hanging onto his stock, though. Just barely goes high. Will be able to dodge the grab that time, being able to find his way back into a neutral position right now as they try to fight for stage control. Both characters at a re relatively high percent for with the charge shots. With the charge shots that both of these characters have, they're both at a very scary percent to be in the forward air, putting it back off stage again at 130%. Unknown trying to chase him off, but just opts to go back and get the control of the ledge once again here. We'll be able to find his whip with the forward air. We'll be closing out the game, and Unknown takes it. Game three. Absolutely insanely played by both players there. Oh, my goodness. Good job to both players. That was an absolutely insane match.